guys, I'm Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie. So today I'm here with my top five actors. So we're gonna go from five to one. There's gonna be some honorable mentions and also I'm gonna say what my favorite actor is and what my favorite role and thing they've been in. So in at number five is the great Scott himself, David Tennant and my favourite thing that he's ever done is play the 10th Doctor in Doctor Who. I discovered David Tennant in about 2005, 2006-ish and he spawned my love for Doctor Who. I knew my dad used to watch when I was when he was younger so it sort of was another bonding thing for me and my dad was the fact that I like Doctor Who restarted and I was really into it so my dad started to watch it and he loves David Tennant too. But David Tennant also was in um, a show called Single Father which was a little BBC series which was so good and also he's been in a show called Recovery, The Politician's Husband, uh, The Escape Artist, uh, St Trinian's 2, Nativity 2, you, there is, it's a long list of David Tennant's work. He also played Hamlet and has also been in Casanova. I'm a huge fan of David Tennant. Also the fact he's Scottish and he just lives like where I used to go to um, college. Also, my old lecturer Jim went to RCS with them and they were kind of mates at RCS. So, as two Doctor Who fans, they were actually quite good mates. In at number four is the amazing Tom Hiddleston. The favourite thing, my favourite thing that he's ever done is play Jonathan Pine in The Night Manager. I discovered Tom Hiddleston around the same time I discovered Benedict Cumberbatch in about 2012 when the Avengers came out and you know Tom was Loki is what he's probably best known for but he was also in War Horse with Benedict Cumberbatch which was amazing. Um, he's been in Crimson Peak, Wallander, you name it, Tom's most likely done it. He's an amazing actor. In at number three is Daniel Craig. I love Daniel Craig as James Bond in the 007 series, the Bond series, and my favourite one he's ever done is probably, oh I don't know, I didn't like Quantum of Solace but I loved Casino Royale, I loved Skyfall and I loved Spectre so I can't really decide what my favourite Bond film is. Definitely not Quantum of Solace, we can say that. Um, he's also been on stage and he has done um, The Golden Compass which I've not seen but I do have in DVD and also um, uh, Dream House, which I also have in DVD but I've not seen yet. He's been in quite a few things and he's a really, really good actor. In at number two is Tom Hardy. My favourite thing that Tom Hardy ever has done is play Ronnie and Reggie Cray in Legend. Legend was amazing and was one of my favourite films of 2015. It was such a good film. And also he's been, he played Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, The Batman. Uh, he also was in Inception, he was also in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy alongside Gary Oldman, Colin Firth and Benedict Cumberbatch and um, he's also done a lot of other films which are amazing and um, I have seen Mad Max Through the Road and I will say this, he is the only good thing, him and Nicholas Holt are the only two good things to come out of Mad Max Fury Road. I hated Mad Max Fury Road, especially Charlize Theron, I hated, hated, like my, I used to watch the Mad Maxes with Mel Gibson when I was younger because my dad's a big fan of Mad Max. So it was my dad that said, do you want to go and see Mad Max in the cinema? And I said yes. Turns out I really didn't like it. It was so actiony, I couldn't handle it. But yeah, so that was it. So now on to honourable mentions. Uh, one on Honourable mention I have is Derek Jacoby. Um, I loved him as Stuart Bixby in Vicious, but D Derek Jacoby's done just about everything, and he's currently at the Carrick Theatre in London playing Mercutio in Romeo and Juliet alongside Richard Madden and Lily James. So if you can get down to the Carrick Theatre, I think you should go see it. Also, another honourable mention to Andrew Scott, who I loved as Moriarty in Sherlock, and can't wait to see him come back in season four. Also, another Sherlock cast me, it is Rupert Graves, who plays Lestrade in Sherlock, but it's not my favourite role he's ever done. My favourite role he's ever done is play Paul Prentice in Different for Girls. It is such an amazing movie about um, the LGBT community and transgender people, so really, honestly, it is worth a watch. Go watch Different for Girls, you will love it. Uh, another 
Honourable mention to Jamie Dornan and I love him as Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey and um, also last but not least honourable mentions Martin Freeman. I have loved Martin Freeman just about everything he's done but my favourite thing at the moment he's ever done is play Ian in Whiskey Tango Foxtrot but he's also known for playing John Watson in Sherlock and he was also in Love Actually and also in Nativity. So it's time for number one, we are not going to be surprised that it is Bed at Cumberbatch. But you'll probably think I'm going to say that I loved him as Khan in Star Trek Into Darkness, or I loved him as Alan Turing in The Imitation Game, or I love him as Sherlock Holmes in Sherlock. You would be wrong. My favourite thing that Benedict has ever done is actually play a character called James in a film called Third Star. Third Star is my ultimate favourite film. It is about a guy called James, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, who is dying of cancer. And he wants to go on one last trip to a place called Barrafundo Bay with his three best mates. But he knows that he doesn't, he isn't going to come back from this trip and um, it's really just a goodbye and he wants to die on his own terms and you know he doesn't want the cancer to take him whilst he's at home around surrounded by his family he wants to be taken away from that so this is his last trip little do his friends know that this is basically his suicide mission that he wants to die and this is where he wants to go he wants to go here so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this join me on monday for my like what, we, what could you call it? Sequel to this list, my top five actresses. And um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.